Welcome everyone. The subject today is about an abandoned movie set that is sitting on an island in Alabama. And the movie I'm referring to is the 2003 Tim Burton classic, Big Fish. Basically the entire town was built specifically for the 2003 film. After the movie was released and the filming had wrapped up, Tim Burton left all of the buildings basically sitting there on the property to rot away. This actually included the church, the dozens of businesses and homes leading down the main drag of Spectra, the imaginary town of Spectra, and the little weird corridor that Ewan McGregor actually walked through under the mist of nightfall to get to the town. Now what has happened over the years? Fire, vandalism, some bulldozers came in and knocked down a lot of the buildings, but I have actually compiled some old footage that I actually filmed, as well as my friends over at Decay is Headed Your Way, and that is what I am going to show you today. Join me, shall you? Just stirred up some ants. This is the dark corridor pathway that he took on the way to town. Man, this is pretty crazy. And Tim Burton's stomping ground. It appears to be made out of foam. Yeah, it is styrofoam. Some sort of outer shell on it. All this is fake. It's not real wood. There's a chunk of it right down here. That actually hurt, but not as bad as you think it would, because look, it's like styrofoam on the inside. Mm. <laughs> Check out that. A lot of mosquitoes out here, though. Bugs. Movie magic here in Alabama. This is pretty wild. Look at this. This is a fake tree. Look at this. Completely fake. Nothing real here except me and her right there. She's real. Check this out. Set number eight piece there. Stabilizer there. It's like a piece of metal. It stabilizes this tree to keep it from falling apart during filming. I think I can get through this way. This is the back side of the set. Check out the restructured here. Make sure that tree would stay in place. Definitely changed a lot. You can see the tree branch is still in the same arch. All this has grown over, of course, and he would have walked straight through here into the town of Spectra. We found it. We found it. We're in Spectra, ladies and gentlemen. It's amazing what's left of this place, all decaying. I don't think anyone's been sitting on this porch in a while. This fence is pretty awesome. The faux age. Faux, what does that mean? That means that the first shot they had it painted one color and they faked aged it. The That's next. true, you can see both colors there. What'd you call it, faux aging? Faux aging. I think this house here next to the church is where they had the dinner scene. Let's go around the back. This is the back side here. This big chunk of the ceiling has actually fallen from up there. See where all the lighting framework was there for the shot they filmed in this room. So we gotta move this to get our shot. Gotta go to work. Cool. High five. Thanks to Nikki and thanks to me. We moved that out of the way. Now we have the shot here. This is the dinner scene shot. They were sitting right there. The table would have been there. Fire would have been there. Right down here below is where the little girl stole the shoes. 
Right there. Watch out, there's mud daubers there. Put your finger in there. Smash your finger up in there. Come on, do it. Yeah. You ready to move on? Yes. That's the house there that the giant pushed to get back in shape. The giant would have been standing right there. Push the house back into shape. That's the house right there. That's where the piano would have been right there. She would have opened the door. Now keep in mind, at the current time of this video, most of these structures no longer exist. They have either been burned down by fire or vandalized or just completely torn down or bulldozed. There are a few remaining structures but a majority of what you're seeing in this video is actually past footage, either from me or from Decay is Headed Your Way. We both visited in the same year at two different seasons, and this is all a mishmash of edited footage between what they filmed and what I filmed. One of the first things that was actually burned down even before I got there was this general store that you see straight ahead. And the interesting thing is, as we walk up to it, you will notice that the general store is actually just a facade and the bricks that you see really are not actual bricks at all. This was wafer board and look at this. That's not brick. There's no floor in that church. There's no floor, there's no nothing. If you look in the windows, just empty. Check that out. Completely empty. Well, this is one way of getting in a building. That giant ant mound. Whoa, you're right. Jab it. Ready? Yes. Yeah. Here's proof that they only fix up the things you see in front of the camera. This is the back side of the church. Never finished. Never painted nothing. Any clue what this might be? Kind of weird. Slab of concrete on the very back side. I wonder if this is where they set up their food preparation table. Maybe this was the craft services table. Thanks for watching this video, everyone. Leave some comments down below about what you think of the relics of the Big Fish filming locations. Also, check out my other channel. It's called The Daily Woo. I do a different, unedited vlog every single day. I'll put the link down below, as well as the video that I actually did the complete filming locations, not just the abandoned stuff, but the complete filming locations of all the spots from the movie Big Fish. I'll put that in the links down below, as well as the video from Decay is Headed Your Way. And big thanks to those guys for letting me use clips of their footage. Their video can also be found down below. I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya. Yeah.